What's up, guys? It's your boy Cup J. And your girl Tofu. Yeah. Villain Saga episode number 19 and uh, what is it? 20? 20. Yeah, 19 and 20. So we got this huge character development from Prince Canute in one episode. Yeah. It's like the newborn king. Yes. Oh, the king is now born. The king is now born. He understands the meaning of love and what he needs to do as a leader. As a leader, yes. So Prince Canute. His duty. We're excited to see this new Prince Canute. So, guys, thank you guys so much for joining Kimchi and Tofu. Tofu, are you ready? I'm ready! Let's go! go. And of course, we still got this, of course, Thorfinn! How's this oh, guy doing? Yeah. yeah! This guy doesn't even remember. He forgot, yeah. What the heck? Yeah, how did he get up? Wow, it looks like he's only, it's one arm's down. So he's only using one arm. Yeah. Oh! oh shoot. <laughs> Oh god, I didn't expect that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, he's gonna tell him. Oh, about the father, yeah. Ah, so we're gonna be seeing, uh, or hearing about Thor's background. Yeah. Damn, dude, that came, oh my god, that came out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That thing was like swinging down. The wrong way, oh, the God. opposite way. That's how my arm broke too. Oh. I broke my arm and, and it looked exactly like that. Yeah. Oh. I used to be a skater. Skater boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, both commanders of the Joms Viking. Oh. Yeah, the dude, troll. we haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, the mom. So this guy's grandpa, what? Oh, and it's his older father. Wait, that's his, then that means his great uncle. Whoa. <laughs> what? They're related. Wow. Oh, wow, he wept for him so bad. Oh, three months later, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, to get his wife, Helga. And the baby. Is he drunk? Oh, but you yeah. don't you don't come steal in Thor's house. No. Yep. Oh, he's still grieving over his friend. <gasps> it's like he's back from the dead. <laughs> he's like, what? He's so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, dude, we're trying to leave. Yes. Because he doesn't want to fight anymore. Nope. Look how small Thor's is to Thorkel too. Thorkel doesn't understand. No, of course not. He loves fighting. Oh. Damn, so the reason he left was because he realized what a true warrior is. Oh, shoot. Is this wow. guy trying to swing at him? Yeah, he is. Oh! Wow. Oh, I don't need it. He broke his axe. Oh. Wow. He knocked him out. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been 15 years since he died. Dang. I wonder if Thorkel knows Askeladd's the one that killed him. Right? Oh! He's really oh. hurting him! Whoa, how to defeat that monster? Oh, Shogi! Yeah. Strategy, right? Yeah. It's the game. Oh, Just wow. Is he going to listen to Askeladd? Oh, my God. He's going to listen. Askeladd being Thorfinn's advisor right now. Weird, huh? <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh. I don't understand how he's still able to move. Oh, what the hell, oh. dude? Oh, wait. Get him to come closer? He's got a sword. What is he going to do? Oh, he oh. fought with him? Wait. What? So that's why he knows his weakness. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh. There's something going on. Huh? Hmm? His weakness is what? His chin? <laughs> his chin? He knocked him out! What? <laughs> Look, he's he knocked him out! His weakness is his chin! Or jaw! <laughs> Why? Oh my god! Oh, oh, what the hell? This is cheap! Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh. Dude, he's not gonna let him kill him. Oh, yep. Oh. Well, this guy's willing to die just for him yeah, to stay alive. Yeah, because Dorkel lost, dude. Knut! Knut! Is Askeladd's whole. Oh, except for yeah, him. Yeah, except for him. Oh, well, him too, but yeah. <laughs> Little girl. Oh. He's like, I'm trying to! <laughs> oh my god, he's so mad! <laughs> I feel like this guy's gonna go super soon. Oh. <laughs> Booze! <laughs> Oh, he wants to see what Canute does. I think he sees a little bit change in him right now. Yeah. <laughs> does Prince Canute already know what's going on too with the king? To fight! Oh, yeah! He's gonna fight, fight his dad? Yeah! He's not backing down. Canute isn't. He's gonna punch him? No, he's gonna test him. Yep. Not even a flinch. Thor's. He's seen that in Thor's eyes. You think so? Yeah. Thor's? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, so he's gonna fight. Wait, wait, wait. He's gonna fight. The Thor's gonna fight with. Yeah. Oh. Cause he wants to know. Yeah. A real warrior. How to be a real warrior? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh! What a change in events. <laughs> yeah. I'm so shocked. Even Oscar is so shocked. <laughs> Like, don't be weak. Oh my god. You can eat the like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> What's he still doing here? <laughs> ah, he's bowing down to him. Oh, he just told him. Wow, he's not gonna kill wow. him. No, of course not. Remember? No. Yeah. Love. It hurts him so bad though right now. <laughs> We're going to drag King Swain down to the throne. <laughs> Don't copy me. <laughs> the heck? 
Oh my goodness. That is what Prince Canute is doing. Let it be water under the bridge. It's so cool because, you know, we see his char character shift so, so much, right? And in that situation, even when Rag, uh, not Ragnar, when uh, Askeladd was, he confessed that he was like, dude, I killed Ragnar. But it is, he's like, he didn't flinch. At, well, he flinched a little bit, but he was just like, you know what? Then, you know, in, instead of taking revenge, he's just like, all right. Well, if you want to mourn him, fight with your life uh, for him. Yeah, well, yes. Take his place. Yeah, take his place. I didn't think Thorkel was going to be joining. Uh, no, I whoa, didn't think so either. What the heck? Like, Dude, he got Thorkel yeah, on his side. He's winning already. Wow. He's there to win. I love this character development. With I mean, let, let, to be to be honest, right? Uh, Prince Kalu's character shift was like really sudden and it's yes. not like just a little bit no. it, where it gradually changes it was just like 180 degree like even him just staying right there with Thor uh, yes he was the type of guy who was even scared to even talk to anybody mm -hmm. he was the guy that was always hiding behind Ragnar and he you know blushing and all that he was so scared but now he's just like facing up giving them orders telling them like he's just a whole different person right now yes yeah he, he is and I'm I'm surprised that he knew all of this too this whole time about his dad. So he did know, and now he's finally taking initiation to do what needs to be done. Yeah. Well, well he's gonna go freaking to uh, King Swain and drag him down to the yeah, throne. Yeah. Drag him off that throne. Wow, dude, that was that was cool. Even the way he talked, even the language or the the words he, he uses, was so like different. Mature. Yeah, dude, everything's so different. Like what? Also, Thorkell, his weakness was his jaw right here. That's where. Th you know, that was his weakness, right? Yeah, I'm I'm happy that they gave him a weak spot. They made him well, not super strong. I feel like that's where Thor's, Thor's hit, hit him, him yeah, right? Me too. That's where Thor's hit him. That's why yeah. <laughs> that became his weak spot. I totally agree with you. Yeah. I think so too. That has to be that has to be where Thor's hit him. That's why he got knocked out. Mm hmm Yeah. Also, what the heck? Thor kills his great uncle, Thorfinn. Yeah, they're related. <laughs> what? <laughs> and Thorkell just Busted his bones. They actually held a funeral for Thor's, mm -hmm. and it, it was so nice to see that Thorkel actually felt that he should have followed Thor's back then, and then he would have actually realized what a true warrior is. Because it looks like he he still he's been searching yes. for being a true warrior. He's been searching for the next Thor. Ever since Thor said that to him, I think it's bothered him since that day. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. It's been on. No, 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 no. Past 15 years. 15 years he died. 15 years he died, yeah. So past 15 years. Yeah, yeah. so over 15 years. But that's still a long time. That he's actually very... been thinking about what this this true warrior means, right? Yes. So now he's going to be following this this prince to find out what this true warrior is. Yeah. Do you ever think Thorkel will be the type of guy who will be like, ah, peace. Let's not fight. <laughs> if, if he finds out what a true warrior is, yes. Yeah, right? Yes, yeah. because he wants to go where Thor's went. Yeah, that's true. Because he wants to follow with Thor. That's how much he looked up to Thor's. Because, damn, even after that, he's been grieving his death on top of his house the whole time. Yes, protecting his house, too. Protecting his house. Making sure that nobody comes in and all that stuff. And he was ready to kill him, too. But Thor's just blocked it with one hand. Yeah. His axe. No, <laughs> no weapons. No weapons. I don't I, need a weapon to fight. That was so gangsta. I don't need a weapon. <laughs> I don't, he's like, where's your sword? I don't need a sword. Yes. Bam, bam. dude. It knocked him out cold right there. Oh, so they're getting ready for Thorkel's army. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they just, mm. yeah. It doesn't make sense to him. No. Wait, look at his eye. He's seeing it. He's <laughs> got an eye patch now. Yeah. <laughs> and then That's right, he's still a ro loyal royalty to him, whether Kingsway doesn't like it or not. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <look>. <laughs> Is he gonna notice Thorfinn too? Yeah. I don't think he noticed. 
Yeah, he's noticing his persona change, though. Yeah, dude, that guy's so confused. It's like, wait, Ascala? Wait, Torquil, what the hell? And you have those two on the same side and following you. God, he's gonna eat with the king for dinner. Oh, dude, and the king has no idea I'm... that he knows everything. I wonder if Loki is gonna tell him about the changing Canute, too. Oh, of Loki? Yeah. <laughs> Thorkel, yeah, it's not very popular. <laughs> and he's like, heck yeah! He's like, hell yeah, I love this guy! <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to follow you. Kanut <laughs> has asked a lot like this. Mm -hmm. It's like, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, time to hear about the brother. Oh, so the f brother's far away. Oh, so this is like perfect chance while Harold's away. <laughs> He's the only one that's like, dude, I'm not gonna listen to you. Oh. Whoa, Askeladd asking him to forgive him. Yeah, parents killing children. Oh. Wow, look at his face. A Vinland. Yep. Wow. Ah, wow. Oh. Oh. Welcome back. Oh my god, oh, what? People? Are they... Archers! Oh, shoot. They're trying to ambush him. They're trying to kill him right here. Oh my god. Oh, damn. Ah. Oh. So scary. <laughs> yeah. The king does. He's not gonna let him come any closer. Askala, get down! <sighs> he uh, wanted to you... see the king's face. Yeah. That bad. Why exactly no, ten remember, steps? Remember, who, who draws the sword first is the one that loses. He wanted to see his son's face. Taking off the crown. So he did the same thing to his father. Yeah. No, oh, shut up. <laughs> so he's saying his beliefs were the same as Canute's until the he crown. put the cro crown on. Yeah. So it's like saying the crown controls the king. Yes. Right? Yeah. Oh. Here they come. Oh. The crown does not want you. It's almost like the crown is like my precious. Yes. Whoa. Oh, he's gonna listen to Askeladd. Yeah. Is he using greed against them? Yes. Yeah? And power. And power. <laughs> he is good with words. What? Ooh. Oh my god. Hold your composure. He sees it. Whoa. That aura. Oh, Askala wants his head so bad right now. Oh, in the uh... banquet? Oh, dude, what is it? The red wedding? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like they're both going to plan to kill each other. Oh, there. yeah, of course. It's their only time. He almost lost it. He knows, uh, yep. He knows his father. Yep. <laughs> I'll show him how to use it. He knows not to trust Askeladd. Yep, yep. Smart man. Oh, look, he has a kid <laughs> on him! What the hell, Torkel? 
<laughs> we can throw care on this man loves him now, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Having a drinking glass? contest. Oh, that's, that's the, a priest. That's a priest. What? Oh, he shaved. Oh my God. <laughs> he cleaned up. <laughs> that's why he can freaking. He's he's only twenty three. <gasps> what? Yeah, I he looks like so was old. In his, like, in his 50s. Look, he's already bald for twenty three years old. Yeah. That guy was only 23. That's insane. <laughs> okay, so they he has like a little respect as a king. Yeah. This guy. Who is this? He has no idea how much he's changed though. No. Right? Oh! oh! That's why they, that's why they had a cone head. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't know his brother's dead. He's so shocked by what happened. He's changed so much, yeah. Yeah, I feel that way too about Gunner. I feel a little iffy. Oh, oh. he's practicing? Yeah, what? Whoa. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, no, the two brothers. Oh, this guy's absolutely lost it. Yeah, now. he's gone crazy. <gasps> what? No, Bajorn's gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, mm. damn. Why is he not giving it to him? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Like a soft side of Oscalad. Yeah. Wow. It's like the princess is rubbing off to Oscalad. Yes. And there he is. Mm. He's still looking for Thorfinn. Yes. Yeah. Wow, it's a lot of things happening. So now I'm starting to understand Prince Canute a, a lot more. So before, you know, I was just like, oh, it's love and love, right? So what he's basically saying is that he's been leaving it out to God. He's been following the will of God. Yeah, following the will of God. But God is telling them to follow him and that there'll be peace and everything. But then down on earth, there's just so much war, killing, and all that. And he's, and what Prince Canute is saying is that God's left the earth like this. He has a chance to change the earth to make it become a paradise or become something that God would want of the earth for the people. And that's what he's willing to do. He's willing to become a demon and maybe, you know, go to hell because of the things that he does just in order for the earth to become peaceful, to become the way of God. Yeah, become the way of God, but he's not, he's not happy with God. He's not happy with God for leaving him down here and letting the people do what they do, having the parents kill the children, yeah. all of this stuff. Even if he knows that it's not going to happen in his lifetime, he wants to be the one to actually make the first step of it. Yes. Yeah, so uh, what he's saying is that he wants to make the paradise in earth. And he'll, he will create the peace in earth since God won't do it. Yes. That's what it's saying, right? Yes. Since God won't do it and he's just letting sin just spread and there's no real actual paradise here. He's like, you know what? If you're not going to do it, then I'm going to do it. I'll make this place a paradise. I'll yes. make this place full of peace and utopia. Yeah, love. Yes. Yeah. I will put the bloodshed on my hands to be able to make this a place that it should be. Exactly. So that's now I'm starting to understand like, okay when he just woke up and when he re finally realized something it was like you know what i'm not gonna leave it up to god this is this is me this is i have i have the royal blood in me i got what i have the power in me i'm yes, the one that I can do this i have the power this. to do so it's almost like there's a reason why he's in here exactly that, that's what it is yeah the whole part where knut walked in with thorfinn and Askala into the king was very intense very very intense scene it was yeah and so the king already knew that Knut and already had some kind of plan mm -hmm. to get rid of him. So they both knew. Yes. Because of what the king says or Knut says is that just like father, like son. Yes. That's what exactly what the king did to his father. 
Mm -hmm. But the king back is blaming the crown. Oh. Well, yeah, but also, but the king thought that he was doing something right. Yes. Because if his father was uh, in charge, it was the king, it'll turn everything into chaos. Yes. But what he didn't know was that it wasn't his father that was creating the chaos. It was the power of the crown. Yes, it's the will. It's the will of the crown. The will of the crown. So, the moment he wore it, that's when he realized. It's like, damn, he has so much power. Yeah, he has to do that in order to keep everything level. He has to have this chaos going on mm -hmm. to create a peace or to stand where he stands today. He it, serves the crown. He serves the crown. He's a servant to the crown. Yes. Yeah. So that's why you, what you know you said about when the king takes off the crown and he puts it on, he's like completely different. Yes. It's almost like the crown itself. It's like his own mind control. I mean, it's yeah. not to that degree, but it's like. It's what humans greed yes. plus all of that power power combined into that will make you into some uh, servant. It'll change you. It'll change you into a servant. And uh, Knut is where he says, like, I'll show you how to use the crown. Mm -hmm. That's very powerful in there. But the king was surprised, though, that Knut had changed and he had the same look as him in his eyes. What I was confused with was that he... That was his first time seeing his changed look. Yes. So why was he already trying to kill him? Because he told him to come 10 steps closer, and he tested him. Oh, that's what he tested it him. It was a test. That's what he was saying. When one move didn't work, that's when he moved to a different strategy that Askeladd noticed that this king is actually really smart, smart. when it comes to war right. and strategic yeah. moves. Yeah. He's able to change Oh, yeah, this. yeah. He, he's able to change... Like, there's plan A and then plan B, C, D. Like, yes. he already has everything set, right? Yes. And he already knows that Askala, he needs to be careful of Askala, too. Yes, because he knows Askala's background now. Because he knows that the the person that he says, oh, I am the son of Olaf. Mm -hmm. Oh, who? what did Olaf say your name is? What is your true name? Mm -hmm. I don't have one. Oh, that's because you're a, you know, it, you must have been a, like yeah. a servant. S serve, uh, yeah, one of his slaves. Yes, and yeah. so then that makes him know that he's not very trustworthy. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's right, that's right. And then if he did see, I don't know if he did see Askeladd, uh, ch his change in composure, if he saw that, that also gave it away. He had like an aura yeah. coming up. Even Thorfinn was like, damn, well, I haven't I seen this guy this mad. Yes. I don't think I want to duel him anymore. <laughs> right? I really liked this Askala when we saw him actually give mercy to his traitors. Told him, and not only that, not only did he just give mercy to him, he gave him retirement. He gave him, hey, you know what? Don't ever pick up a sword again. Don't do this again. Here's enough gold Yes. for you and your wife. Get get babies and just get away from all of this. Yes. Have a farm of sheep. Just die on your bed. He's, Don't die in the war. Wow. On the battleground. Now he started to understand like the the mind of Prince Knut. Yes. And he's like he's like one hundred percent devoted to not only Prince Knut but also his way of thinking. Yes. And he's applying it to himself with his own men. Mm-hmm. And that was a traitor, too. Like, Askala now, he's just like, he's so devoted to Prince Knut. Thorkel is, is so devoted. <laughs> in their own ways. Yes. You know, it's like Prince Knut. Changed them. Change. He knows how to create this peace. Yes. He knows how to do it. Like, it's it's in his blood. It's in his it's blood. It just had to be awakened. Yes, it's in his blood and need to be awakened. And he's very sure of himself. So it makes them very sure of him. That's true. He knows exactly. Like he's very decisive. He's very decisive, right? And he doesn't wear. He doesn't wave one way or another. He mm -hmm. sticks to what he says. Yeah, and the and so funny. The only person that that <laughs> that doesn't it's like ah, I don't care about you is Thorfinn. <laughs> <It's Dorfin. Yeah. laughs> right? It's like ah, don't give me orders. But then Chris Knut knows how to work with him mm -hmm. with him too. So I wonder who's gonna kill. The king, is it going to be Askeladd? I feel like Askeladd is going to kill him. You feel like it's going to be yeah. Askeladd? Askeladd, yeah. Because it has to, they have to give it to Askeladd because after what the king just said, and he's, he's saying, I have to be worried about this guy, mm -hmm. right? So he has to be worried about Askeladd, and it looks like Askeladd is going to be the one that kind of plans the assassination. Yes. I mean, who else kind of, oh, Thorfinn. Thorfinn. Oh, yeah. Actually, I feel like, 
I don't know. I'm I'm worried because I feel like something bad is gonna happen because you have two smart men working against that's each other. That's right. So Askeladd can die too. Askeladd could die too. Oh shoot, that's right. Because the king saying that I should be worry wary of him. Yes, yeah, so be saying that some foreshadowing going on that they're looking at each other, you know, to kill each other. So it's, it's one of them's gonna die. One of them will die. Oh my god, that's right. We have Ragnar's brother, who we already feel or we know is not a hundred percent devoted to Knut, like his yeah, brother. Yeah, right. Because yeah. Ragnar is one hundred percent do or die with uh, Prince Knut, you know. Yes. But yeah, maybe. Whereas, yeah. This that guy might give it away and get might. Asuka a lot in trouble. He might. Oh, shoot. That's right. He might. Because now his brother's dead. So what does he have to lose? Exactly. It's like, okay, who do who do I feel like has more power here? Where will I best fit? Because now this guy is looking at his survival, not just doing stuff for his brother or for with his, his brother. brother. Yeah. His brother's gone now. Yep. And now Knut's changed and it's... Knut is not mourning for his brother. He's just trying to take a That's true. That's another thing that uh, I realized, too, is that he just brushed it off like Ragnar's dead. And, he, you know, he's just like... Yeah. It's kind of almost disrespectful, even though it wasn't. Because, like, Ragnar was like, he ba babied he, him. Yeah, it was like his father, almost. Yeah, it, it was like, yeah, it was like his father. That's what Prince Knut even said. It was his brother. Oh, so now we got to see for the banquet... The red wedding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Damn, yeah, that's dude. pretty much what it's. That's what it's gonna be. Uh, oh shoot, dude! Oh, red wedding. But this time it's gonna be like both ways trying to kill each other. Yes. Oh, it's dude, not this gonna is gonna be, be just crazy. One plan. They're both ready. You think there's gonna be like an all-out battle inside the banquet? Probably. Yeah, cause Thorkel's in there too. Yeah, Thorkel. We've got Floki. Well, Floki. Yeah, Floki. We've yeah. got Floki. Oh yeah, Floki's in there too. Oh shoot! Oh my God, Floki. Thorkel, every Askeladd, because the Thorfinn. whole Jom, Jom's Vikings gonna be at the banquet too. Yeah, but we already know Askeladd and his men were the ones that uh, outsmarted Jom's Vikings, but they still followed through with what Jom's Vikings Dude, ordered. Dude, I can't wait for this banquet episode. Oh, this, oh yeah, <laughs> oh go wait, sorry. One more thing though, poor Askeladd's right hand man that I keep. Oh saying. yeah, Bjorn. Bjorn. Yeah, Bjorn. that guy's he's gonna die. Damn. Yeah, it's gotten to his intestines. Intestines, right? So yeah, he's dead. Askeladd has already know that he's dead. He's yeah. gonna die. He's gonna die. The only one left that Thorfinn. he has, Thorfinn. <laughs> the one that's trying to kill him. Yes, that's why he's got to train Thorfinn right. Because you know how uh, Askeladd says, there's always somebody that comes and conquers and takes over, and there's a new generation and a new generation. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he knows that Thorfinn will kill him. And so he's got to train him right before that day comes. Ah, so that's because right. Because he's going to be the one to watch over Knut. You probably know that he's going to die someday to Thorfinn, right? Yes. So he has to make sure that Thorfinn's on the right track and the same mentality to to take over Askeladd. Yes. yes. Because Askeladd's that type of guy. Right? Yeah. He's just like, hey, even if I die, I'm okay with dying. Mm -hmm. But when I die, just make sure that it keep, continues on. Yes. This story is going to get... Better and oh, better. better! Oh my God! I feel it! I I feel it! Priest! Oh, the priest, twenty three. He's twenty three years old. Twenty three years old, and he's already balding. Poor man. Dude, yeah, twenty three years old. It's a big alcoholic. Big alcoholic. <laughs> and what was it? Fifty seven drinks. Fifty eight. Fifty eight. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God! He out drank everybody, yeah. and then now he's this up there to out drink Thorkel. Yeah, he out drank them and out. And he uh, tricked them, too. <laughs> he didn't even know who he was. Nope. I mean, he didn't even know who he was. Nope, nope. He looked familiar, though. I'm like, he looks well, like a priest. Well, it's because his robe. Yeah, yeah the robe, the gave, robe it away. gave it away. Oh. Damn. But, yeah. <laughs> well, all right, cool. That was uh, Villain Saga episode 19 and 20. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We're only four episodes away yes. for finishing Villain Saga season one. Mm -hmm. So, it's crazy how it just go from episode one to now just episode 20. Just, just like the timeline of it, just the character development to everything, how the story just changes and yeah. it's insane. It's, it's crazy, but awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys soon for 21-22. Until then, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Yes, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.